Hello everyone, hey, and welcome back to the Infected Survival. So, yep, you'll have to excuse me as I'm getting over whatever this is. So, we are going to do our best at least to get some progression going. And we're going to need firewood. And I don't have any firewood, but I do have firewood right here. Ah, it's hard jumping back into a game that you haven't done in a while. Alright, I'm going to put our firewood back. So, what I wanted to do was build an extractor. Actually, two of them... Yeah, I think I have enough of that. So let's find out first. Okay, that's smelting iron frags. Got that there. All right, so we got five ingots here. Once those are done smelting, we're going to get all this stuff smelted up. Grab some biofuel. I think I'm going to head over to the copper one first since it is close by. Then we can swing by our aluminum, grab all the aluminum we need, and then come back to base. I was thinking about a horde base uh, on the street or across the street. Preferably on level ground. That's why I'm thinking the road and maybe up here Somewhere well, in between I don't want to aggro any of the vambies in the town So maybe around in here So that way if I ever go get my resources and it's a late night I can just run back to the horde base and not have to worry about coming from say over here there and then running back So yeah, actually I think right around in here or the road would be pretty good And when it gives us nice Flat level ground, but as you can see, I need proteins. I need to eat. I don't have a lot going on right now, so... You know what? We're going to eat one of those. Since I've been to every town... Alright, where are you going? You make no sense, Fambies. No sense whatsoever. Alright, what do you got for me? Ugh. Okay, 350. I'm going to have to repair that as well. So, let's go check on... Oh yeah, I topped everything off. Very good. And we're going to grab two of these. And this is going to make ten with, five, with the five there, so it's going to be fifteen. So we're just going to need three more after that. I am going to bring this beautiful thing with me because I think I can carry it. Yep. With everything loaded in there. So we're going to go run down, make sure we're going down to the right street. Okay, so it's going to be down. Oh, there's a bear down here. Do I have my bow? I think I do. I do. Do I have any arrows? I do. Okay. Mm. See, that's a nice spot right up there, too. And it's close. That's the biggest thing is being close, but is it too close? Hmm. Honestly, right around in here wouldn't be bad. The bear's a little further up. Hmm. We're going to give this a shot. I... Mm. <gasps> hey, look at that. There's a pumpkin already right here. That's a very good sign. <laughs> yes, some natural lighting. Speaking of light, we'll go ahead and turn that one off. Let's get this pumpkin built. And we're going to put him over there. I think he's facing that way. Yeah, it looks so weird when you're looking at him from behind. So weird. Alright, our first jack-o'-lantern at the Horde base. So yeah, it could be further up. I just want like a nice open area with not a lot of trees. And this is looking pretty good. Now this is in the path of our road that we're going to have to go to when we eventually get the truck. Hmm. And look at this. Not only one, but two more pumpkins. This is a good sign. <laughs> this is a very good sign. So we're going to get these pumpkins set up. We're going to try this base. It might be too close. If it is, not a problem. At least the spikes can be moved. And this horde base to be honest, is not going to be that big. It's just mostly going to have a ton of spikes around it. I would love to get on a pathing system of some kind with them, but I don't know if it works quite like that. I do have on my hat as well for the sun resistance, so we should be able to stay out here longer, even though it is September. Oh, boy. Not paying attention, are you, buddy? No, you didn't even yell. Thank you for not yelling. I really appreciate that. 
So let's go grab this other pumpkin beauty. Get this set up. Make sure our stamina is good to go. And I'm going to put a foundation down. And then I'm going to put the bed on the foundation over here. And then just surround it with like uh, no metal spikes. We're just going to have a bunch of wooden. So that way we can just give it a test. And if it fails too close, then we can just simply destroy one foundation and move all the spikes further down. So that being said, uh, foundation definitely got to go up higher. All right. So our foundation is set here and we're going to do stairs. We're going to go up, but we can't do that. So we need to go foundation, a blueprint and another one here. And then we can delete this one. So we know this one will be at the right height and we'll make our stairway going here with spikes going around it. Uh, let's get this a little closer. All right, so yep, they'll be able to jump up here, uh, which could be an issue. The bed's going to be here. So let's get this tree chopped. And we'll get more. I'm not going to need planks, though, for that. Let's go check on our iron, make sure we're going to get enough. I do want to get copper started. Um, now, there was a comment made, and I totally forgot about it. I don't know how I could have, but I did, that I completely forgot about electrical panels, circuit, the relays, everything. Uh, even the J boxes, I completely forgot about. So it's definitely something that we're going to need more materials for before I can actually start getting any of this going. All right, I have enough. Uh, what time is it? Okay, it's still noon, so we still have some time. All right, that is all of that that we need. Here, we're just going to throw this in here. Put our lead down here. Get this over here. Now, what else do I need for an extractor? All right, and finally, we have made it. And it's still really bright in here. That's so weird. I mean, not that I'm complaining. Don't get me wrong. Now, yes, theoretically, or not theoretically, but I could put spikes here and make this, my horde base, uh, into a cave. But I don't know. I was kind of wanting to build a horde base just to see what would work as opposed to hiding out somewhere here. I didn't really want to do that. But that is definitely a nice thing to have to fall back on if need be. All right, and I would stay here to, I mean, I guess I could get stone. No, no, I cannot get stone. <laughs> Why am I always doing this to myself? All right, and back at base we are, and of course, with no stamina. So we're going to get this pumpkin set up over here. And we'll get this move back. I don't think I can. Oh, OK, so we've got more iron fragments burning. Let's go ahead and move our bed over to the base. I'm going to take some of these wooden spikes since we do have the metal ones there and it's a much better defense in case this doesn't work and right around in here should do just fine and it is my spawn point all right let's go get our wooden spikes moved Now, whether that was a good thing or a bad thing, I don't think I have anything up on the butcher's table. So we're just going to have to see, hopefully, come here, that it is empty. All right, there's nothing in the cart. So 
Sweet. All right, that worked out well. All right, so this should be, I'm hoping, good enough. Uh, we do have some, at least they're doubled up. So let's go ahead and we're going to get started on the inner ones first. Okay, so there's only one right there. I'm going to need more. And sticks. Sticks are going to be a big one. I kind of wish there was a stick maker in this game. I mean, we do have one for planks, but having to do this... for our sticks is just a bit redundant. But thankfully, it's easy to do. I didn't want to do that. All right, we're definitely moving along though. Now what time is it? Okay, we should have enough of this done before the horde. All right, they are just not paying attention. How many fiber? Sweet. All right, let's bring this back since we're not gonna need it here. I'm gonna go ahead and make the 25 rope from our 50 fiber. I'm gonna leave these spikes here. I know I said I wanted to bring them. But just in case this thing does not work out the way I want it to. Uh, no, that's going to be left outside. I need to be... Oh, Apollo. Where are you at, buddy? Unfortunately, I have not seen you in quite some time. Alright, so this... Alright, so we got our rope. And let's check on our iron fragments. I'm definitely running out of time though. And if this doesn't work, all right, at least these iron spikes will be here. Now what I'm counting on is that the Vambies don't go for me. They try to go for my base. So at least this way I can clear them out as they're getting impaled on these spikes. And like I said, thankfully, these things are easy enough to create. All right, so we have our horde base, which doesn't look terribly bad. Now, it is September, so that is kind of a problem. I don't have a greenhouse yet, but I'm going to need stone for the sand, for the glass. That shouldn't be too big of an issue. I want to make sure at least this works. And if it does, then I can start focusing on other things now that we have a copper extractor down. Or, I'm sorry, cobalt. Copper is definitely going to be a tricky one to do. How uh, time is it? Okay, 520. We still have plenty of time. I'm going to get one more done. Like I said, if this does not work... Uh, here, we're trying to get him as close as we can. That way I'm not taking up too much room. And this one could get a little closer. And that one's fine. Alright, time to rinse and repeat. And then I think we're going to head back to the base. And i got to figure out... i got to start to block... Okay, just the, that. Okay, and that. Our plant section from the outside, in case I don't make it in time, in case uh, for the winter, I need to be able to save those plants. Sweet. Okay, so that should be more than enough. Now, we're just going to come down here. Okay, I think I need feathers. I don't remember, but anyway, just in case. We're going to do the same thing down here. And just add, like, another row. Like I said, just in case this does not work. 
I mean, this playthrough is all about spikes and defense. But I'm just going to fill in the gaps so we're not doing this for the entire episode. Alright, and we had one here. And here. And those are good. I'm just glad these things are actually pretty easy to make. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get started on this one. I think this fan is going to pay a little more attention. Yeah, you are. All right, we are almost done. Actually, it looks like we're done on this side. Okay, that is just enough. Like I said, just in case. I do eventually want to have these upgraded to iron and that upgraded to concrete at some point so we don't have to worry about it too much but hopefully they go over there uh, okay it is seven o'clock and drink some water now I do need to get a rock extractor down here as quickly as possible and I think our big thing even before the refrigerator is to get that oil refinery going or the uh, oil pump that's what I'm trying to think of if we can get this going with eight wind turbines that's gonna save me a ton of headache with fuel and it'll be a constant thing The stone grinders are going to be run by solar panels, which will only be during the day since I'm trying to stay on that day-night cycle. All right, looks like these are all good to go. I am going to need to consider putting something over this, but considering now we have the advanced bench, we should be able to build that a lot quicker when that comes into play. So they are going to eat real quick, get some meat going. All right, so we got that. And once this gets worn down, we'll cut up our, our deer here and get him taken care of. Now, unfortunately, my steel spear is actually starting to go down pretty bad. So what do we need for the grinder? We only need six iron ingots. I'd like to get that going and put it right over in here as soon as possible. So let's see what we can do and how close we are to that. So we got two, three, four five and six it looks like we are going to be able to get our stone grinder down we're going to get our stones in here and i think i have a stick holder i do but it is full so let us craft another one and make sure we have enough Oh, beautiful. We have 18 of those. 22. I need three more plastic. Mmm. All right, it's going on eight. I'm starting to get sleepy as well. All right, so let's go ahead and get everything that we're going to need down while we wait. Um, yeah, we can put it right over here in this corner. All right, we now have all the materials. So we have our stone grinder. Let's grab, I'm probably just going to grab one oil for right now, even though I do have a lot of it, just to see how many repairs, so to speak, we can get out of this. But this will save me from having to use an iron block and a lead block for more steel. And we do have another one on backup just in case. Now 
Now, I don't know what's needed. Oh, okay. Sticks are needed to repair those. That's simple enough. All right, come on, buddy. See, why can't the horde behave like you? <laughs> More animal fat? Come on. Really? Give me copper. Copper is what I could use definitely right about now. Okay, all the wooden spikes have been repaired that were previously here. It's going on 930. We did get a decent amount done. We got our cobalt extractor down. We got our stone grinder. Not stone grinder. Um, this thing. Okay, just grinder. All right, well, that, <laughs> that definitely makes sense. Here we get our light on. Let's get, oh, that's right. Okay. Get that up and going just for some more light. I'm just running around, uh, kind of waiting to see how this is going to play out, but picking up stones. As many as I can find all around here. All right, I'm going to drink some more. Actually, no, we don't, we're going to eat some watermelon. <gasps> Apollo? Apollo? Hey, buddy. Welcome back, dude. Oh, welcome back. There's, no, don't go that way. Here, I'm run you in the right direction. There's food over there for you. Now, since what I might end up doing, to be honest, because this is a really long run, I don't need a lot of it here, and I could break these down for half the resources back, is probably break this down since we do get hordes that come in frequently. They're easily controllable, so I can always repair if something breaks. The horde vambi just doesn't use this thing at all. So this is definitely too long, and I can take these pumpkins and move them out even further. So that's not going to be a big issue. Um, I've got plenty of stuff on me that I'm going to need. I'm not worried about upgrading those spikes over there just yet until we can make sure this works. And it's going on 10 o'clock, so let's head on over there. There's nothing much more I can do over here. And we're going to sleep and wait for the horde. If for some reason the horde still decide to go over there, <gasps> another pumpkin. And we're just going to have to book it. But kind of why I wanted to build somewhat reasonably close in case this does happen. And yes, I need that as well. I can't pick up anything when I have a pumpkin, huh? That's just very convenient. You had three sticks. All right, so we have like three rows of wooden spikes. So if this works out properly, we shouldn't have an issue with it at all. But 15 Vambies, man, they're starting to stack up. <laughs> they really, really are. Even though I can see my base, this is still the spawn point. So hopefully this works out. Okay, we do have the Vambies coming to us now. Okay, there's one down. Here, oof. We're actually going to stay out here. Okay, no we're not. <laughs> no we're not. They seem a little confused on what's going on. Uh-oh. Don't you do it. Come on. Oh, 
Okay, so it's just these three. Ow! Oh, he broke through. No, the last one got me. Oh, seriously? All right, well. <sighs> well done, Vambies, well done. You got me. Ooh, lots of nails. Oh, more nails. Okay, I think that's cobalt. Well, the good thing is I don't have to heal. <laughs> I do need to get a stove going, though. I got to get these special foods going to get my health back up there. But, yeah, they broke through two spikes, so we are really going to have to push to see what we can get. Oh, I'm going to have to stay here and sleep anyway. For these iron fragments, we are desperate for iron fragments to get these things upgraded. More nails. Okay, so what did we all... 23 nails. That is cobalt. Okay. So yeah, not bad. Not terribly bad with the loot itself. So next episode, we're going to push for the copper mine, which is way down here. And I'm going to have to... We know this works now. This is far enough distance away, so that is really good. And it's somewhat close to where I can still see it and run over there in case this goes bad. And we need... We desperately, desperately need a very quick, efficient way of getting our iron fragments and our oil to our extractors to continue that going for more power. But ladies and gentlemen, if you did enjoy the episode, please thumbs up down below. If you have subscribed, thank you very much. I do appreciate it. If you have not, hit that subscribe button for more content. Have a great day, y'all, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.